Hi everyone, Joe Oriyama here for YesNetwork.com, and I, this is Singled Out with Ken Singleton. How you doing, Kenny? I'm doing fine, Joe. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. Well, Kenny, let's talk about the Yankees' performance. They've won two in a row now. They look good. Uh, offense has been great. Brian Bruni's been terrific. Mariano Rivera has been perfect throughout this whole season. What are your thoughts on this team? Well, uh, Andy Pettit's performance last night, I, I think that's the way you draw it up. You have Andy goes seven strong innings, or the starter goes seven strong, and turn over to Bruni for the eighth inning, and then Mariano cleans it up, oh, picks yeah. up another save, and in the process, he and Andy tied a record, the all-time record of 57 saves by Mariano Rivera in games pitched by Andy Pettit, and I would assume that sometime during the year they're going to break that record. Absolutely. Yeah, that record was held by Dennis Eckersley and Bob Welch of the Oakland Athletics. And, Kenny, let's talk about Chin Ming Wong. He hasn't been great through this season so far. 34 earned run average, uh, just been struggling. Uh, what have you seen from Chin Ming Wong that maybe you could pinpoint something that you think might be mechanically or might be mentally? What do you think? Well, uh, Joe, after struggling in three straight starts, I mean, royally struggling. Yeah. I, I think it's become more of a mental thing for him now. I do also feel there's some mechanical issues involved. Uh, I don't think he has the arm strength that we're used to seeing and he's going to go down to Tampa and work on that. Uh, I know I talked to pitcher, uh, pitching coach uh, Dave Island and he mentioned the fact that he was encouraged by his last work session in the bullpen. That there, there might be something there where his arm speed is starting to catch up. Okay. He needs to get more power uh, from here to here. Yes. And instead of, you don't create your power way back here. It comes from the last part of your delivery and following through and making good pitches and making the sinker that he's uh, thrown so well in the past work once again. And I have a feeling he's going to come back strong and, and do well for the Yankees this year. I know there's a lot of concern, particularly the way he's been hammered in the early going. When you're toting around an earn run average of over 34, I, I, I know you're not happy. Well, and you talk about if Chin Ming Wong gets, you know, right, if he's the Chin Ming Wong that we've seen, the two-time 19-game winner, then Andy Pettit's looked great, bounce back year, A.J. Burnett has been terrific, and so CC Sabathia. But really, I want to focus in on Pettit. Do you think he could have a Mike Messina-type bounce back year this year? Well, Andy won 14 games last year. I know he, he wasn't as strong in the second half as we're used to. Usually, he's a second-half pitcher. But he worked on his shoulder, strengthened his shoulder over the winter, and it shows in the early yeah, going right. here. Uh, it seems he's throwing with a little more power. He's throwing a few more fastballs by hitters. Uh, last night, uh, he didn't have his best stuff uh, in the game against Oakland, but he still won the ball game. And I think that's important because last year when he didn't have his good stuff, he struggled and the Yankees were going to struggle in that particular game. So he uh, used his other out pitches, used his change up well, used his sinker well, his cutter wasn't working, and his fastball was uh, passable last night. Now, one more question, Kenny. Uh, small sampling size. We've only, you know, the Yankees have only played a handful of games so far here at the new stadium. But they have hit 21 home runs combined between the two teams that have played here at the stadium. Yeah. And it seems like the majority of everything is going out to right yeah. field. Uh, this seems to be a concern. The Yankees are bringing in, you know, engineers to see if, you know, there's certain wind patterns going, you know, to that side of the ballpark. Is this a little concerning for Yan the Yankees and Yankee fans? Well, it might be, but uh, Joe, what are you going to do? Build a new stadium? I mean, they just did that. So I, I, I think you're going to have to live with it uh, at, at this point. I'm sure they're going to do all the surveys necessary, but I have a feeling it has to do a lot with the pitching and the clubs that were in here. Cleveland Indians are a very good hitting team. The Yankees are a very good hitting team. Uh, in the uh, opening game of the series against Oakland, there was only one home run. I mean, Johnny Damon hit it. Uh, the A's aren't a home run hitting team. So I, I, I think if you make your pitches and make decent pitches during the course of games, you're going to see the home run totals come down and be, get back to normal. I, I just thought there was not very good pitching in that series against the Cleveland Indians. All right. Well, Kenny, thank you very much. This has been another edition of Singled Out with Ken Singleton. I'm Joe Oriama saying we'll see you next time on YesNetwork.com.